Mark Fixes Star Hello and welcome to a very quick surprise pickup edition of Mark Fixes Stuff. So um, this is a Freegal pickup. Uh, I emailed um, someone who said they had a bunch of computer game related stuff and they wanted it gone and if I picked it up tonight then I could have it and there were 30 other people waiting for it. They mentioned Nintendo and PlayStation and I don't know what's in here yet. I genuinely haven't looked in here. I thought you could oh, experience the journey with me. See I haven't scripted it or anything. So basically we're going to open this box. It's quite a heavy box. Uh, it's probably two foot high, but it's all sort of bundled up in there. It's all sort of bundled up in there, so I don't know what's in there. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. Oh, as an aside, um, I had work today. So I sent the email at like 10 o'clock in the morning and she responded back at 20 past 12 to say, call me and it's yours. Um, I've got 30 people who also want it, but you were first. But, and then my mobile phone didn't work. <laughs> So I had to drive home at quarter to seven and phone up and said, I'm just letting you know that basically I know I've missed it, and, but thank you very much for you know giving me a call. But she said, no, I thought I'd wait until you got to me. So let's have a look. It's probably gonna be crap now, so let's have a look. Okay, um, to keep it in camera shot, I'm gonna rip the top of the box off. So what have we got here? Ooh. Oh, it's empty. Uh, battered, battered Ocarina of Time. Well, maybe it's loose in the box or something. What else is there? Okay, uh, actually, I'll, I'll um, pull these out. So, yeah, that is a rather battered Ocarina of Time. Let's have a quick look, see what else is in there. Just because it's battered doesn't mean it's not useful to someone. Might be able to get a car only. Manual is in there. Uh, a bit dog eared. Uh, what would you expect for free? Okay, um, this here. Never heard of this one, Chaos Legion. Anyone? Oh, that has got the uh, the actual game in it, which is always handy. Let's have a look at the state of it. Let's have a look. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Hello, Mum. Chaos Legion and the leaflet. I think, believe that's what they say. Complete. Oh, it's some sort of um, Capcom. Your Siegfried how to battle hard and Anyway, moving on. I'll do the blue ones first, I think. Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. A big Resident Evil fan I am. Um, not entirely sure what Outbreak is. Is it like that shooting game that everybody said was shite? Access, powered access. Uh, don't know. Let's have a look, see if the disc's in there. It is, happy with that. It's like a manual. So um, yeah, this is her older son who was getting rid of this stuff. Um, absolutely brilliant condition. Um, and yeah, basically she said he just, not grown out of it, but he had other things to do. Warriors. I've never played this game. I remember the classic film, Warriors come out to play. Uh, look, booklets there. What's this disc like? Brilliant. These discs are in excellent condition. He's really looked after. So apart from some dust, it's in really good condition. Please ignore my uh, tumble dry. I uh, decided that I was going to um, just do this video anyway. So I can open up. Soul Reaver 2, Legacy of Cain. Awesome. Let's have a look in there. Oh yeah, look. Booklet looks like it might be missing its front cover. Or is it folded over? Uh, no, it looks like it's missing its front cover. That's fine, let's look at the condition of the disc. Disc is in great condition. Oh, thank you so much. Sheep, dog and wolf on the PS1. Very dusty, this hasn't been played for. Look how dusty that is. Sheep, dog and wolf. Never, ever, 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 ever seen this game. Booklet. Just a bit dusty, that's all. Um, yeah, perfect condition. I'll be having a go with that. I've got a PlayStation 1 somewhere. What's this? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Awesome game, I've heard. Let's have a look in here. 
No cartridge in there. Maybe it's loose in the box, don't know. Conquers bad third day. Contains explicit humour. Well, look. Contains explicit humour. Huh. Bad. Um, what else have we got here? Max Payne. I'm assuming that that's... Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant condition. And my namesake, Mark Payne, Max Payne. Yeah, what can I say? He's a bit like me, except a little bit less epically awesome. Final Fantasy VII. Nice. Like a bit of Final Fantasy in this household. Some idiot's got them written on the booklet. Love it when they do that, you know. Hey, look, it's a game. Let's scroll all over it. Final Fantasy Origins. Is that meant to be in that case? Tell me, YouTube. Uh, Final Fantasy, the other disc. Final Fantasy 2, apparently. Origins. Great Nick, good. Um, unleash your inner evil. Legacy of Cain Defiance. I think that's worth upwards of 10 pence, probably. Good Nick, lovely. Legacy of Cain Defiance, lovely booklet and something else there. Sort of um, registration card. I'm trying to get through these quickly because I realise it's probably not very interesting. Um, what's this? A Blackberry charger. Random. Gotta love Freegal. What looks like a jumper pack. Yeah, N64 jumper pack. Mm. Silent Bomber by Studio 3. Uh, might be fun. Let's see. Booklets included. So it's in good nick. It looks a bit dirty at the top of the disc there. Uh, disc is in good condition underneath. Just needs a wipe, I think. Silent Bomber. Never heard of that. Never played it. Call myself a gamer, everyone's shouting. Dragon Ball Final Bout. And he said Final Balls. Sangoku Super Vegetable Trunks. Super Vegetable Trunks? Is that? Uh, Dragon Ball GT, no, never heard of it. I'll have a look at the disc actually. Uh, booklet, I'd like to show you the discs. Yeah, that's in great nick. These are all in brilliant, brilliant condition. Obviously, this is someone who loved their games. Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Cum Lauda, uh, Uncut. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, great condition. PlayStation 2 game. And booklet. Max Payne 2. The Fallen Man. Look at the dust on that. Look. These have been sitting around some considerable time, lads and lassies. Max Payne 2. Fallen Back Payne. Pre owned. Let's see what the Disky Whiskey Woo's like. Oh, can't get buggers off now. Yep, yeah, look, great nick, brilliant. Booklet, bastard pre-owned sticker on it. Bastard pre-owned sticker. God, there's loads of stuff in it. Um, aerial lead. Can go in the bin. Mortal Kombat Trilogy. God, I had this back in the day, it was shite. Uh, no booklet. And probably wipe their ass on it. Oh, there's some sort of bogey smear. Smear of the bogey. Ugh. Okay, what have we got here? Freedom Fighters. Um, is this the same as the DC game, Freedom Fighters? Don't know, very dusty. <laughs> it's going up my nose. Nothing worse than someone else's dust, but uh, free dust on free games. So oh, I've made out quite well so far, I think. Um, so we got here, Spawn the Eternal. Uh, no booklet in this, I don't think. No. Oh, lots of dust though. Telco games. Let's see, how's it? Spawn the Eternal, no booklet. But PS1, lovely. Likes me a bit of Spawn. Yeah, the chap when I went in there, he had loads of, um, well, I say when I went in there, he had loads because his mum handed this stuff over. Soul Blade, awesome. Booklet, arcade stick advert. Soul Blade. Gotta love the old Namco stuff. Namcot. Namco. Does that open up for something else? No, that's just pushed in there now. So yeah, Soul Blade original on the PlayStation. Very, very nice. 
Um, Final Fantasy, what looks like nine. Hang on, I've got a bit of a landslide going on here. I'm just gonna rearrange the stuff off the camera. Um, oh, I see some more Nintendo um, boxes down there. Final Fantasy nine, yeah. Let's have a quick look at the diskies. Looking good. Uh, yeah. Final Fantasy nine platinum disc in there. Weird. This isn't platinum, is it? Or oh, is it platinum? Uh, yeah, I think it is platinum, yeah, okay. And there's another two discs, three or four, four or four. All complete, won't bother checking the discs on those, I suspect they're great. And that super rare game, Worms Armageddon, that I think everybody in the world got, Team 17, who are so successful in the Amiga days. Worms, awesome. It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel shite. Worms Armageddon, good, good, good. Checky the disky whiskey, and it's beautiful thing. These are all in A1 condition. Very, very pleased with this. Who needs to collect? Just go on free, go and get a collection handed to you. Army Men 3D, real combat, plastic men. Yeah, the book looks real good, okay. From 3DO, Studio 3DO, and uh, kind of dusty disc, but that's okay. Okay, now we can drop the accent. Ah, looking good. Um, classic Ninty controller. This is a really good box. With a, what looks like a genuine vibrational pack. Lots of dust. <laughs> okay. I can't quite get that out yet. What's this? Kingdom Hearts. That is Cracker. Oh, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. I've played uh, the one on the DS, the first one on the DS. And um, I've got Kingdom Hearts on um, the PSP. I've never played one on the PS2. That looks really interesting. Love the Disney crossover with the Square characters there. Of course, box isn't ending. What we got here? Mercenaries 2, World in Flames. Good, it's not World in Flares, because that would be far too 70s. Yep, yeah, looking good, good disc. Booklets in there, excellent. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Not played this one either. Surprising how many games I haven't actually played. Big fat booklet in there, looking good. Um, DVD ROM, yep, yeah, one disc. Get the condition. Come on, you beggar. Yes, perfect. I'm so excited, my shoulders are aching. <laughs> right, what have we got here? Oh, it looks manky. Oh, it's meant to look manky. Resident Evil 4 in a metal tin, looks like. Oof. Resi 4. I've got this on the PS2, but I think it's a platinum. So Resi 4, looking good. Um, not sure how many discs there's meant to be of that, but there's one in there. It's like the deep spigot. No, no, I think there's only meant to be one. Well, that's actually in really good, really good condition. It's very, very, very dusty. Look. I'll give all these a clean off. Right, okay. Um, I think we're coming to the end now. Okay, what have we got here? Um, AV cable. Uh, don't know what that's for, actually, anyone? Tumble dryer's going. Prepared as always on Mark Fix's stuff. Uh, USB cable job. Don't know what that's for either. Uh, okay, not sure what that is. Nintendo DMG04. I have to look that up. It looks like some sort of system link cable, maybe. Um, bu -bu -bu looks like a generic PSP USB. Uh, charger. So this here is um, to a phone charger, I think. USB to an old Nokia. I ain't going to bin. Don't need that. What's this here? It is Metal Gear Solid. Right, okay. Uh, disc one, ripped cover on the manual. And there's disc two. So quick check on the quality. Oh, perfect. And oops. The other one, 
perfect. A quick look under there. Yep. Well, it is. Needs a bit of tape on that. I'll put some invisible mending tape on that. Lovely. Um, Alone in the Dark. The New Nightmare. Oh, I really fancy playing that on the PS2 as well. Excellent. Looking really good. I'll bother checking the discs on this anymore because I'm taking up far too much of your valuable time. Devil May Cry 2. A um, couple of discs in there. Devil May Cry. Looking good. Just going to try and speed up a bit now. Grand Theft Auto 3. Lovely. Yeah, manuals in there. All good. Uh, another USB, two USB blade connectors. Uh, what's this? Uh, looks like a stereo AV cable. Like this guy was expecting his mum to give us stuff away. Zoo Classics, Hogs of War. Apple sauce and barbecue sauce. Ooh, the case has had a bit of a run in with someone's boot, it looks like. Um, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. Oh, I had this back in the day. Oh, that's dusty. <laughs> Discs in good condition though. Look at that. Needs a slight wipe. Bit of isopropyl alcohol. Oof. Uh, let's see what this is here. Just get this out of the box eventually. Super Mario 64 Player's Choice Edition. I think I've got about three copies of uh, Super Mario 64. Might introduce my children to that though. Um, Banjo Kazooie. I doubt very much it's going to be in the box. Because this, I believe, is quite rare. Banjo Kazooie. Look at that. Quite a rare game. And someone's written on the label. Oh, that's annoying. But it's good to have the game. Oh my goodness. And I think the manual's in there. I think that this game is probably quite a lot of money on eBay. Banjo Kazooie. And it's now mine. Oh, mine. Oh, yes. Let's see what we got there. I'll pop that into back into the box. Give that a bit of a clean later. Um, look what looks like an empty box for Dark Souls Limited Edition for the 360. Um, that's definitely not in there unless it's very, very flat. Um, an Apple Macintosh adapter. The magnetic type. Might stick that on eBay, actually. And the little jobby that plugs into it. Well, I haven't got a MacBook, so that's no help to me. Uh, I'm sure someone could use it. What have we got in here? Some more stuffs. Oh, empty box it looks like. Yeah, it's an empty one. Donkey Kong 64, including the expansion pack, which isn't in the box and neither is the cartridge. It's a shame. WWF Attitude. There we go. That's good because I've got a wobbly desk, so that can just go under the edge of the desk and sort that out. Simpsons Wrestling. Never heard of it. Is that any good, YouTube? Let me know. Simpsons Wrestling. Looks like it might be fun, actually. Well, that might be fun. Ha <laughs> poo. Getting pwned by Homer Shimpshon. Oh, look. It is a PF1. Nothing inside, always check inside. Couple of memory cards. Uh, what looks like smegma on the front, look. Someone's had a barbecue sauce sandwich all over that. Not the uh, Joe Lord audio file obsessional model, uh, but uh, that will do for me. Playing a couple of these classics. But what have I got down here? Looks like an N64 car. Turok Rage Wars. Used three quid, that's really. Not exciting you much. Um, <sighs> Skyrim, Elder Scrolls V. Um, massive book. Anyone? Oh, he's a ton. I think it's a play guide. Official game guide by Bethesda. Softworks. Got here. Oh, hang on. South Park. 
a little bit faster mark. Oh, there's that Zelda. Oh, look, I've got a Zelda, complete Zelda now. <gasps> Conquer's bad for a day. Back of the net. Thank you very, very much. Very dusty. Look at the state of that. <laughs> oh, Conquer's. I've never played this. I've heard so much about it. And um, I have genuinely, not shitting you, just got this free off of Freegal. This was going in the bin. This was. Oh, right, and there is a system under here. So I was led to believe that there was a PS2 in here, something in here. What the hell is that? Wax ceiling in, very random. Wax ceiling in Britain. What the hell is that? Ceiling wax. Interesting though, and it's uh, it's a P, I think. So, um, yeah, well, I'm Mark Payne, so that's mine now. Wax sealing kit. And I think we come into the end now. What's this here? Oh, Crash Bash on the PS1. Is that in there? Yeah, that's in there. Looking good. It's not on a platinum, is it? No. That actually looks really good. What is that, like Bomberman for Crash fans? Or uh, Yeah, it looks like Bomberman for Crash fans. And um, what looks like an eye toy. I've got two of these now. Yeah, that's an eye toy. Lovely. I've got a PS2 um, Slim and a PSP Fat that I need to sort out. Some sort of Xbox 360 headset. Well, that's handy. That'll clean up. Look at that. Xbox 360 headset. I haven't got one of those. I don't know how it plugs in. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. I'm not wasting your time. Um, Ninty power supply. But there's no AV connector. There never is. I've got to say that the um, there's a 64 in the box and it looks a bit tired. What's the car? Donkey Kong 64. So Every box that I've pulled out that was empty actually does have a cartridge. Um, Donkey Kong 64. Is that any good? Let me know, tubers. YouTubers. And by that, I mean you people on YouTube and not you potatoes. That is an original Nokia thing. Don't care. Uh, optional ruler. That would be good for the kids. Kids always love a ruler. That's all they're getting out of this package, by the way, a ruler. Um, and oh, Madonna. What is almost like this? Oh, right, that's the controller. It's a very, 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 very dusty N64. Shall we have a look? See if we can see the telltale red in there. I'm looking through the screen. We'll see it at the same time. Yes, expansion pack winning. So good. RF out. Put adapter. I've got a cable that will uh, be a better connection than that. I'm assuming this is all going to work to be honest. Let's say some sort of scroll, all those labels are coming off. Wow, so there you go. That is a really interesting box. And by really interesting, I mean it had a Conkers and um, Banjo Kazooie in there for free. Now you're watching me, but I'm watching you. I'm watching you, YouTube. Dave, what are you doing, Dave? I'm afraid I can't agree with that, Dave. This is Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff, signing out and saying thanks for watching me open this box of crap, which wasn't crap. Woohoo! Um, my next video is probably going to be replacing the escutcheon, the metal faceplate, on a ZX Spectrum rubber keyed, and I'm going to be shooting that in the morning. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So, it's Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff, signing out, and reminding you, subscribe to get your fix. Just click there, between my two fingers, right there. Subscribe! Subscribe! Bye!